the Reefs at Risk Revisited project will be taking advantage of the powerful technology available through Google Earth to both collect information and disseminate results. We'll be doing detailed mapping of threats to the world's coral reefs and summarizing results for six key coral reef regions, the wider Caribbean, the seas of the Middle East, the Indian Ocean, the very biologically diverse reefs of Southeast Asia, Australia, including the Great Barrier Reef, and the widely dispersed reefs of the insular Pacific. We'll be using Google Earth as a means for obtaining feedback on a global map of coral reef locations. This global map will be provided to our partners through Google Earth and they can zoom in on an area they're familiar with and review the coral reef locations. If they have better data for their area, they can provide that to us or if they simply want to provide comments on errors they might see in the map they can digitize this on screen and provide those locations back to us via email with comments. We will also be collecting information on the occurrence of destructive fishing using Google Earth. It's unfortunately the case that both blast fishing and fishing with poisons are common occurrences in Southeast Asia. We have partial information on past occurrence of these two damaging practices from the Reef Check Volunteer Survey programs. Here we see observations of fishing with dynamite in orange. We believe that there are additional occurrences that our partners are likely to know about. They can simply digitize polygons on screen and send that information back to us. We'll be making the request for information for both blast fishing and fishing with poisons. And once again, our partners simply digitize the information on screen, provide a description of what's happening in that area, and email it back to us for inclusion in a global database on threats to coral reefs. We'll also be using Google Earth as a means of disseminating final results of the Reefs at Risk Revisited project. We're modeling threats to coral reefs from coastal development, overfishing, land-based threats, and marine-based threats. Here's an example of coastal development pressure on coral reefs from the Reefs at Risk Caribbean project. Areas colored in blue are reefs classified as under low threat from coastal development. Those in orange are under medium threat and those in red under high threat. Each reef has been classified. These data can then be summarized by country or for the region. We do this mapping for each threat and then combine all four threats into the integrated reef set risk index shown here. This is a combined index that reflects human pressure on coral reefs and is indicative of coral reef condition. Preliminary results of our modeling will be shared with partners for review. The final results will be shared with the world through Google Earth. For more information on the Reefs at Risk Revisited project, visit reefsatrisk.wri.org.